Hello, I hope you're having a good day. I'm T.R. Rose with Meow About Cosplay. Last time, we talked about Princess Peach's character design for the new Super Mario Brothers movie. Now, if you haven't sewn before, or actually even if you have, you'll probably want to start with a sewing pattern before you dive into working on a cosplay project. Now, for me, I'm actually really lucky because I have this pattern, which I picked up years ago when it was available in stores. This pattern is unfortunately discontinued, but as you can see, it includes all the pieces to make Princess Peach or Princess Daisy. You might be lucky and find a copy on Etsy or on eBay, but you can't walk into your Joanne Fabrics and pick this up off the shelf. But there's nothing wrong with modifying one or more patterns to get the look you're going for. Really, the elements that make it Princess Peach as opposed to somebody else are the big puffy sleeves and the big cuffs on the hips. As long as you have those elements represented, the other parts are more flexible. When I made my very, very first Princess Peach, I didn't have any patterns similar to that to start with. The pattern pieces that I started with were this skirt pattern and this sleeve pattern. Not at all the Princess Peach look, but when you mix the elements together, I got something pretty workable. Depending on what patterns you may have in your stash, you may have other patterns that would work for this costume as well. For example, if you have this pattern, you can combine elements from the two designs together to get something pretty close to the Princess Peach look. If I was using this pattern and starting from scratch, I would use the puffy sleeves from Snow White, the long skirt, and the hip poofs from Cinderella. Putting that together, I would get something pretty close to Princess Peach. If you happen to have this pattern, you could get a pretty close Princess Peach look by taking the hip poofs off of Little Bo Peep and putting them on the Frog Princess dress. I looked through the catalogs for what patterns are currently available in the Simplicity and McCall's lines of commercial sewing patterns. I went to their websites to see which patterns were viable right now as of the making of this video. Now when you're buying your patterns, especially if you're located in the United States, it's recommended to wait for Joanne Fabrics to have their patterns on sale. They regularly put their sewing patterns at $1 or $2 each. And considering that the list price of some of these patterns is as much as $20 or more for each one, I recommend trying to get them on sale. In fact, that's how I've managed to acquire most of mine. So looking at what Simplicity has available on their site right now, I would combine the Wizard of Oz sewing pattern with this more historical design. I would probably start with the Glinda dress take the shorter puffed sleeves from the Dorothy costume, and then add the hip poofs from this 18th century lady. If you're looking at McCall's sewing patterns, there are a few choices you can make there as well. One of which is the storybook costume set. The other McCall's storybook character costumes pattern has most of the elements that we need. You could probably combine elements from both of these to get something very close to Princess Peach. And just for fun, I thought I would show you this vintage Simplicity Super Mario Brothers costume pattern. I would not recommend using this as your starting point for a Princess Peach costume. So join me next time as we begin to make the mock-up for Princess Peach. 